Hi and Assalamualaikum guys. Today I'm going to talk about lights in photography. So what is light? Technically speaking, light, more specifically visible light, is part of electromagnetic wave spectrum. It is usually referred as visible light, which is visible to human eye and responsible for the sense of sight. Reflection. Reflection most common and most used property of light. One of the most common use is when flashlight is bounced off the ceiling or a wall to obtain a diffuse soft light on the subject. For photography purpose, we can classify it into two broad categories, regular reflection and diffuse reflection. For example, mirror glass. Light bounce off the surface of a material at an angle equal to the angle of incoming light wave. The next example is earth, that is why sky is blue. Light wave bounce off at many angles because the surface is uneven. Next is absorption. Light stops at the object and does not reflect or refract. Objects appear dark or opaque. The energy thus observed manifests as heat. Absorption is useful in subtractive lighting techniques. Example, wood. Next is transmission. Transmission is when light passes through the surface. Filters or gels work on selective transmission. There are three transmission. First is direct transmission, when light goes through an object and no change in direction or quality takes place, for example, glass or air. Second one is diffuse transmission, when light goes through an transparent or semi-transparent object with texture, example, frosted glass, light will be softer, less contrast and less intensity. The last one is selective transmission. When light goes through a color object, a portion will be observed and another portion will be transmitted through this object. Next, we proceed to refraction. Light goes through the object and bends at an angle. Example, diamond, greater angle or water, lesser angle. B. Inverse square law. Intensity of a point source of light is inversely proportional to the square of the distance. In simple terms, if we double the distance, the intensity of light drops to 1 per 4. The effect of this law is not particularly visible in sunlight but it is very apparent while using artificially lights especially in studio. Generally speaking, it means that light falls off drastically with distance. So while using flash or other artificial source, distance matters a lot. C. Color Temperature the temperature at which a black body will emit radiation of the same color as a given object. In simple language, color temperature is the color of the light. It depends on the source of the light that is producing it. White balance. When the source of light is not completely white, the whites in the image comes out tinted. For example, a white paper will look yellow in a yellow tungsten light. White balance is adjusting the setting in the camera to compensate for the color light. So as the name suggests, it is adjusting to get the right white. So this is an image of white balance settings. There are three types of light. First, key light. As the name suggests, this is the most important light. Second, fill light. A fill light is used to open up the shadows. Third is kicker, rim or SN light. Lights that outline the subject and separate the subject from the background. These lights are also known as side lights or hair lights depending on where they are placed. So, how to set the light? First, set the key light. Position the key light to define the shadows. Second, add fill. Add fill light depending on how much details you want in the shadows. Third, look for rim lights. See if you can have a rim light from side or back which can add further to the image. Types of lighting First lighting is front lighting. Key light is directly behind the camera giving the subject an even exposure. This kind of lighting is most simple and easy to meter. Next lighting is side lighting. Key light is coming from one side. Front lighting might render a subject two-dimensional. Side lighting gives it a volume and three-dimensional look. This evokes stronger response from the audience especially when taking portraits. 
Last but not least, bad lighting. Key light is behind the subject. See hold pictures are best example of this kind of lighting. Finally, this is a light examples that I took.